Well, good morning. So today the church remembers St. Martin the Pores. He is the patron saint of um, people of mixed races, of social justice. He lived in the 1600s in Lima, Peru. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we ask this great saint who had a big and generous heart to also stretch our hearts that we may be as loving and as generous as he was. For our faults, our failures, the sins of our world, we ask the Lord for his pardon, healing, and help. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin the Pours by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are circumcision. We who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh. Although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I, circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law, a parisi, in cell I persecuted the church, in righteousness based on the law I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, this I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even considered everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus in my Lord. The Word of the Lord. Our response. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wonders deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. Let hearts rejoice to search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having 10 coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among angels of God over one sinner who, re over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, we're so used to hearing these uh, gospel stories that we kind of take it for granted. But imagine if you were a first-time listener to what Jesus would say. And he tells about, well, wouldn't you leave the 99 sheep and go and search for the one? People would scratch their heads and they would say, no, I wouldn't leave the 99 and go after the one. I'd take the loss. Or... Um, the woman who finds the coin and then calls together her friends and neighbors and celebrates. Even Jesus' listeners would scratch their heads and it's like, really? But Jesus' point is, but God would. God would celebrate even an insignificant one. God would celebrate, whereas we might write someone off. God cherishes and treasures and he tells us there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who is found. So we can take great news uh, in how much God cares for each one of us. In a similar way, the saint that we remember today, St. Martin de Porres, also cared for the least, whereas people would be indifferent to their plight and their need. But he would go and search for those slaves that are coming aboard ships, and he would treat them with love and mercy and kindness. Obviously, by himself, he wasn't able to change the structure of society, and slavery wouldn't end for quite some time. But he saw their need, and he reached out to them like our Lord. St. Paul, in today's first reading, also pointed out the mercy of God. You know, he is then uh, a sinner who persecuted Christians. But he said, the Lord in his mercy did not strike him dead, but led him to conversion. You know, we are so quick to write people off, but that's not God. God seeks the lost and he brings them back to conversion like he did with St. Paul. So today, perhaps, we can reflect on this greatness of heart that God has for each one of us, and that we may likewise not write people off, but also pray for them, intercede for them, help them, that like St. Paul, they may be led to conversion.
let us pray. Let us pray then for ourselves and all Christians that we may reflect the love that God has for each one of us and so that we may make our world a better place. We pray to the Lord. For the victims of war and violence, that where human efforts fail to achieve peace, God may guide and help us. We pray to the Lord. For our nation, for our upcoming elections, that we may vote according to gospel values and for the common good, we pray to the Lord. Pray for peace in our families, peace in our communities and in our world. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and all whom we have promised our prayers, remember Jane Ann Sullivan, Charlie Cunningham, Brian Bat, that the Lord's healing grace may come upon them. We pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being remembered for all our departed loved ones, for those who have been enrolled in our All Souls Novena, and so for all who have died and all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord and for your intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we entrust our cares into your loving hands. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create and blessed Martin the Pours, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin de Porres you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy dear for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our deceased brothers and sisters, those enrolled in the Novena for all souls, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Martin de Porsche and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay warm.